Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Walbro high performance fuel pump in your Dodge Neon. So let's go ahead and get started. Just to be clear, in this video we're going to be focusing specifically on upgrading the fuel pump itself in here. We're going to be removing the stock fuel pump, upgrading it with the Walbro high performance, and showing how to do that with this assembly. If you're looking for the video on how to replace the fuel pump assembly, which is this housing here which consists of the fuel pump, the pressure regulator and fuel filter, you can check out my video via the link above where I show in depth on how to remove that as far as dropping the fuel tank, swapping this out. So as far as that, let's head over here and I'm going to show you all the components that we're going to need to complete this specific task. First thing you're going to need obviously is going to be your fuel pump assembly, which you're going to remove from your vehicle. Next, what you're going to need is your new Walbro high performance fuel pump. Now you want to make sure that you purchase this from a authorized dealer or a reputable seller you want to be careful with online purchases such as eBay Amazon there's a lot of imitation knockoffs going on out there now there are some easy ways to pinpoint if it is a fake or not as far as the way that the the logo this W with the Walbro the way that the font is laid out the way that the logo is stamped on there there's also some ways to tell the way that the housing has been put on there so do your research make sure that you're definitely getting what you're paying for Next, you need the replacement strainer. And then last but not least, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver so we can pop the clips off on this assembly to slide that open. Looking here at the assembly, I just want to identify these wires that we're looking at here. So if we turn this over, you have a harness that goes underneath here that connects here to this external harness where your vehicle plugs into with the power and everything coming in. So what you have is you have four wires. You have two thin ones, which on this particular assembly, they're yellow. I know on some other ones, I've seen them uh, dark blue. They could be different on yours. But basically, you have these two thinner wires, which are coming off there in the middle. So you have four wires. So you have a red, the two thin ones, and a black. Those two thin ones, if you follow them down, they actually come here to your fuel level sensor. Basically, what that's there for is as this is sitting in your fuel tank and you put gas in the vehicle, that raises... And that right there moves that, which then tells the gauge how much gas is in your tank. So that's what that's for. That's your fuel level sensor. Then you have the other two wires here, the red and black. Those two go to your fuel pump itself. So we need to remove this plug here so we can get that harness off. Disassemble that so we can remove all the wires. That way we can then pull that through for when we remove this housing. We can slide that down and then we can disconnect those from the fuel pump to put the new one in. To remove this plug here for this harness, you're going to push this tab here in the middle and that will then release it and then gently just pull on that and that'll slide right out. And there it is. So that's what we need to disassemble so that way we can remove these four wires. You'll see there's a blue locking tab holding everything in. What you're going to need is just a small screwdriver or flathead. You could use a regular, I like the smaller one. And you can see right in there the blue line. So we're going to go in here, right there along it. And then we're just going to push on it real good. And you can see it's starting to move it already. Want to make sure you don't break it or lose it. Set it off to the side here. Looking into the harness, now that we've removed the blue clip, you'll see right there, there's a little gray tab underneath each wire. What you're going to want to do is take a flathead screwdriver, push that down to release that metal, the little metal end of the wire so we can slide it out. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take the screwdriver, push those down, and I'm going to start pulling them out. And that's how it'll come out, that end right there. Want to make sure that you don't push the tabs too hard to where you can damage them. But basically, you just take the flathead, push that tab down gently while it's down, and you can just pull it out. I'm going to go ahead and do the other two. We'll be right back. Went ahead and removed the last one. And you can see here what I also did just to label the order that they go in. I put a little bit of black tape around the fuel level sensor wire that goes next to the black wire of the fuel pump. So that way when we put everything back in, because you're supposed to have the red fuel pump, 
then you have the two in the middle, which are for the for the fuel level sensor, and then you have the black for the fuel pump. So we know this goes here. That way we know this is the one that then goes next to it. Then we have this one that comes in, and then the red one. So you just want to make sure that you label it. That way you don't get these two crisscrossed around. Next, we're going to go ahead and release the tabs. You have one here. You have one here. And then one here. Once those clips have all been released or those tabs, then this will slide out, exposing the fuel pump which is inside. So for this, we're going to take our flathead screwdriver. You're going to gently put it down in here. So that way we can then lift that up and then pop those out. And there's your fuel pump there. But you want to go ahead and release these wires here. There's a little clip right there. You want to pull all that out. Get all that pulled out before you get everything pulled. That way you don't damage anything. those out there you have it you can see here the comparison this is the Walbro pump here this is the one that was pulled out you can see how much smaller it is compared to that so this is some I don't know piece of garbage that was in there I have no clue what it is it doesn't even have any markings on it so let's go ahead and attach the strainer to the bottom of the Walbro and go ahead and strap it up to it so we can drop it in and put everything back together we're going to take the strainer and right there that bends down so you have a little bit of a strap. We'll slide that through. Fits right into that groove there. Lock that on. That holds it on like that. Now we're ready to drop it into the canister here. So that way we can put the assembly back together, run the wires up through it, and then we can go ahead and uh, seal it all up and uh, call it a day. Sliding this in here all the way in. There we go. And just just ignore these connections here. These wires, I had to, to split those, so they're going to have to be re-soldered and then resealed before this is done but I don't want it to hold up this video so I'm just showing how it goes together and then at a later time I'm going to go ahead and fix that before it's all finalized and put back in the vehicle so don't be alarmed by that and commenting on that I know that's there and it's going to be corrected so once this all goes in here then we have the inside here of the canister where it's then going to connect all that together so let's go ahead and put that together we'll feed the wires up through so what you have here, and you can see it, you have your um, your fuel fuel level sensor. These are coming up here. Then you have the fuel pump comes up through this one, feeding through these this little clip right here. So we'll get those in their proper places. That slides here. Bring this up here because that's gonna that's gonna meet this here. They're all going to be coming through that together. So now once we have that all connected, then you can just start clipping this together right there. There we are. Come along to this one. And then the last one. There we 
they are. Now it's all sealed. These wires here now need to be fed through this part here. So we're going to bring them around this way. That way they're all, because basically what you want, you don't want them caught in the path of this spring. So they're looping through here. So the next thing that we want to do is we're going to then go ahead and feed them into this. Let me actually turn it this way here. And then you'll want to put them in the same order that we pulled them out of. So we want the black one goes in first. We're going to insert that. That clipped. So the next one now is we're going to do the the uh, the fuel level sensor. We have the one that we marked here with the black tape because we know that that goes here with this black one. That clips in, and the next one goes in the next slot. That clipped in, and then the red one goes here on this end. So we'll slide that one in. Slide it in slowly. And there they are, all nice and locked in. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this blue clip back in the way that that was. And now, last thing. That's all connected. Everything is put back on and we're ready to put this back onto the vehicle. Okay, well that pretty much wraps up this video. The new high performance fuel pump has been installed. The assembly is put back together. Next step would be then now to reinstall this back into the vehicle. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I have a link there at the beginning if you want to see how to do that. I had a video where I showed how to replace the fuel pump assembly. I will also have a thumbnail for it at the end of this video if you want to see that as well. So that pretty much wraps this up. I hope this video was informative. I hope it helped you out. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.